Riyadu Salahim. Chapter 334, Abomination of Holding Conversation After Isha, Night Prayer. Abu Barza, may Allah be pleased with him, said, the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him disliked going to bed before the Isha, night prayer, and indulging in conversation after it. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari and Muslim. Commentary, the prohibition of going to bed before Isha prayer is that if one sleeps late at night, it becomes difficult for him to get up for Tahajjud prayer or Fajr prayer. Moreover, if a person goes to sleep soon after Isha prayer, all his activities of the day will end at Isha, which is the most meritorious act. It should also be borne in mind that when holding a conversation which is disliked or forbidden at other times becomes even more so at this particular time, i.e., after Isha prayer. Imam and Nawai's contention that things like academic discussion, talking to a guest, discussing the lives of the pious etc., are not only permissible but desirable, is also subject to the condition that such an activity does not involve the risk of losing the Fajr prayer. If one spends so much time in such activities that he is likely to miss the Fajr prayer, then the permission to hold academic discussion becomes doubtful. Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them, said, once, towards the end of his life, the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him concluded the Isha, night, prayer and said, after 100 years from tonight none of the people on the surface of the earth will survive. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari and Muslim. Commentary, the Prophet peace be upon him had made a prophecy that none of the people who were alive on that night would live beyond the end of the century. None of the people on the surface of the earth will survive has been interpreted as those who had seen him, and known him would not stay alive after a hundred years of his death from that night. This was true, for the last companion of the Prophet, Abu Tufalimir bin Wayla, died in 110 after migration, i.e., exactly 100 years after the Prophet's prophecy. Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, said, once the Prophet peace be upon him delayed the Isha, night prayer till midnight. He peace be upon him turned to us after the prayer and said, All the people slept after offering their prayers, but you who waited, will be accounted as if you were engaged in your prayer throughout the period. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari. Commentary, we learn the following three points from this hadith. First, Isha prayer can be deferred till midnight. Second, it is permissible to keep awake for it to offer it in congregation. It is also permissible to engage in a beneficial activity after Isha prayer involving such important matters as acquiring teaching knowledge, or even spending time with one's wife or guest. Third, the period spent in waiting will be treated as time spent in salad, and its reward will also be greater in similar proportions. Salam alaikum, ya Habib, salam.